Yeah, let's just get into runs. I haven't done this in a bit. This level's easy. And I have all the auto splitters working. So I shouldn't have to split at all. Except for the beginning of Toy 3, because, um, reasons. Is complicated. Why'd I jump? That was bad. <laughs> I shouldn't have jumped. This is probably going to be a 21 PB because free time save. I usually like to have three health going into this section. That's fine. be in the way when my laser goes Take off. That. That was a cold, okay. I should probably input my golds from all my single game splits. I almost forgot that that is still a straight. Yeah, putting all my golds from my single games might be a good idea, just so I have an accurate sum of best.
a bit sloppy, but it's fine. Apparently not as sloppy as the PB. Okay, cool. Got all the stars. So that means I should have full health now. Yep, there is a Toy Story 1 video game, and I'm actually doing a trilogy for all three of them. Watch out! Oh. To infinity and beyond! Oh. Good. To infinity and beyond! Nice, that was perfect. That was perfect. Exactly what I want to happen. And I got full health in Run Rex Run. So I can do damage boost in this level. Haven't seen any playing this game. Which never shows a viewer count of it. Yeah. This is a Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis game. This is the Super Nintendo version I'm playing. I skipped the star, right? Yeah, I did. Want to make sure to get all but one of the stars for that. Your health gets completely refilled. Oh yeah, I remember watching that video from Console Wars. That's fine, I can take it some damage. Not to 
too bad. Ah, I took damage there. Wasn't supposed to take damage this early, which I don't think should mess things up too much. Once again, getting every star except for one to refill health. Ow. I have thought about running Toy Story Racer, but the thing is, the 100% category is like 8 hours long. Also, get ready for free time save here. Ready? Bam. Skip the whole level. Yeah, uh, the 100% category for Toy Story Racer is like 8 hours long, and... Hold on. Okay, yeah, and the rest of the categories are just like individual segments of it, and these golds are not right. Uh, I think it's because the auto player was messing up last time. Yeah, Toy Story Racer is something I want to look into doing at some point. Should not have taken damage there. Or there. usually damage boost through that, but I'm actually really low on health. Ow. What? <clears throat> That's dumb. Probably just gonna damage here. Actually, I'm gonna try to go for it at least a little bit.
was about to say, now we're gonna have full health, but never mind. Either go really well or just go terribly and just get hit for no reason. All right, two health going to Roller Bob isn't great. Took a little bit of damage and one purpose for death, but not too bad. Uh, the extra level in Genesis, and then also, um, there is the claw level that you can skip in the SNES level, in the SNES version, uh, which you can't do in the Genesis version. Here it comes. And then also recently, to you can infinity. skip the, uh, Doom clone level as well. Watch out! Here it comes! Here it comes! So those are like the three main reasons why Ness is usually random. Here it comes. Here it comes. Watch out. Watch out. Here it comes. But yeah, that extra level in the Genesis version is a big reason. Watch out. Ow. Here it comes. Alright. And that's toy one. Pretty much. Here it comes. 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 Watch out. Ow. 
Here it comes. Twenty forty five for Toy One. Are you kidding me? That is a massive time save for Toy One.